Good morning, everybody. I'm doing a little bit of an experiment here. It's Edna Valentino. You know I love to get on Facebook Lives and share my tips and tricks about business and health and, and motivation and mindset and all that good stuff. So what better time to be going live, which I've never done at 419 AM, than when I'm doing my something called the Miracle Morning. If you have ever heard of the Miracle Morning, give me a thumbs up or give me some sign that you have, some emoji about doing it. And um, if you haven't, I really want to share this with you. And it really is appropriate to be on this early. I'm going to wait for somebody to jump in here. Um, and maybe you're watching and you're like, what is she doing up at this hour? Um, I tend to get up early anyway. I am a morning person. I am wired to be working out in the morning. I'm wired for creativity in the morning. I get my best ideas in the morning. Um, I want to do everything in the first couple of hours of the day. And I can't. So sometimes later on, I'm like, oh, if only I'd done it at 4 or 5 a.m. Um, because... I just, my mind is like so clear. I get to sleep and I sleep so well and so deeply. I don't always need eight, and nine hours of sleep. That has never been me. But anyway, let me tell you what the miracle morning is. It is six things and I'm kind of whispering because if my kids wake up, I can't get out of here for one of these steps, which is exercise. So I want to show this to you. Um, the Miracle Morning, all credit goes to a man, a young man named Hal Elrod, E-L-R-O-D, and he created it. You can Google him. He's got a Facebook um, community group, the Miracle Morning community, I think, and he recently had cancer, actually, and overcame it. He is the, a very, very empowered young person, husband, um, kids. He's. I don't know that much about him, but I just know that... He, I've seen videos with him and he's just very, very empowered and has kind of passed the baton onto the community to be able to, to talk about this. This is his acronym, okay? It's SAVERS. I'm going to tell you, I tend to turn that first S into a G and I'll tell you why. So SAVERS is, is the S is about silence, okay? I'm just using my cards to give you like a little visual. I turn it into a G. So you're supposed to wake up in the morning. And the thing about this is really setting an alarm to get up early in the day for that reason. The creativity is there um, to start your day because if you start your day right, the rest of the day has a better shot at going right. If you start off rushing, running late, you didn't eat breakfast, you're grabbing coffee out the door, you're in a traffic jam, like your whole day goes to pot. So start it off right. So when you start and you wake up and you sit in silence and you're just kind of like, thinking about your day. Sometimes I do it in bed, but I'm usually giving gratitude. And in this silent space, I kind of listen because meditation is really about being present and just hearing the noises, using your senses to be right here, right now. And I say thank you for a few things like thank you for letting me wake up today, God. Thank you for my family. Thank you for what today has to hold. Thank you for the conversation I had last night. Thank you for who I'm going to meet today. And, you know, just anything it might be. That's the first one. And when you start from that space, everything else flows from a place of gratitude, right? So the next one, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get these cards right, is affirmations. And affirmations are really I am statements. I won't go into all of this because there are a lot of teachers out there. Google affirmations and how to how to create your own affirmation that's going to be able to um, set you off for the day. You know, I am happy and grateful that is one that Bob Proctor teaches. I am happy and grateful that. And you just keep saying that over and over and over and try to embody that space. The next one has is V for visualization, okay? So again, we're writing, we're, all of our action steps are these letters, silence, affirmations, visualization, okay? Visualization, and I'll tell you, I have been very consistent with this Miracle Morning since December. 
I purposely started right before Christmas because that's when, like, why would you start something so routine and trying to get into a routine at that time of the year? And it was because it was that time of the year. It was hectic. It was crazy. And I knew that if I waited till January, I might be way off course in my routine. So I'm like, just start today. Whatever day it is, just start. Today's Wednesday. Just start today. It doesn't have to be Monday. It doesn't have to be April 1st. It doesn't have to be, you know, the first day of summer, whatever. Just start today. Um, Whoever is on, please give me a thumbs up or heart or something because I love it that somebody's on. Um, the visualization piece, I have a very, very strong, vivid goal that I have for my business for the middle of the summer. And the visualization piece, I will be really honest, I thought I was a good visualizer. These activities, when you do them over and over, you realize you can get better and better. So I had this picture of me attaining this goal and the people I would be around and where I would be standing and what the result would be and where I would be and what it would smell like and what it would taste like and and just all your senses about this goal. And as I continued every single day doing this, I realized I kept adding details to the pictures That's the beauty of visualization. If you have a goal at work, if you have a goal for weight loss, if you have a goal for health, if you have a goal for your relationships, if you have a goal for the amount of money you want in your account, um, in your bank account, you start throwing details into that picture that you hold in your mind. You guys, everything is created twice. Everything that you want is created twice. First in your mind, and second in reality. If your visualization at exercise with this Miracle Morning is rich, and, and don't judge it, just do what you can for today. Tomorrow, because it's early in the morning and the creativity is there, you might be able to add more to it. And that's what I love is my my vision has gotten so juicy that when I get out of bed first thing in the morning, I'm like, oh my God, I can't run, wait to run to that vision. I can't w- wait to, to spend time in my, my picture of me attaining that goal. And I so wholeheartedly mean this, you guys. I sit there and I'm like excited and my heart starts like beating like, yes, I did it. I did it. And it already has happened. It has already happened. And so I just keep brewing this like feeling. And, you know, the law of attraction says what you think about, you bring about and you have to feel it before you attain it. Because if I'm really saying I want my goal, but I really don't think I can get it and I'm actually a little bit afraid of of getting it. I won't get it. Your subconscious is much stronger than the words that come out of your mouth. You have to wholeheartedly believe and feel that vision. So that's the V, okay? And if anybody wants any coaching or help on V, please reach out to me. And I really, 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 really mean that Um, because it's that important for you to attain and have the life that you want the way you want it. Okay, and a lot of times it becomes a lot better than you're visualizing. Here's the next letter, E. You know I'm about E, guys. You know I'm about E. So after I do all of this, it doesn't have to be in this order. Don't be anal about these these letters, okay? The E is exercise. When I'm done here, what I do is I do all my work here. I'm drinking my brain food that turns me on. I chug one of these. I do these six steps and I'm out the door to the gym. And then I come home and I'm done. And I'll tell you something here at the end that I do to to make sure my accountability is good. R is reading, okay? R is reading. Read what you want. What do I have? Pull it out first. One of my faves, Success Magazine. I think this is an old one. Winter of 2018. Okay, this has been around (laughs) for a little while, but it hasn't been opened or read. So who cares? Read whatever you want to read. If you want today, I have a pile of magazines. So I threw out the old ones. Health magazine, success magazine. I have books. This has this activity of reading has helped me be able to read more books. So I was reading Live Big and Dare to Lead. I haven't even finished those. Sometimes I wake up and I flip through a chapter of a book and I just am like, I'm gonna read this 
this page. This is what I'm supposed to read today. And it's fun. And it's just a thought for, di- for today. It doesn't have to be a chapter. It could be a paragraph. It could be one sentence. It could be the title. Read something that gets your mind going. Like just juiced up whatever it's about. And then finally, you've got say, whoops, sorry. You've got the final S, which is scribing or journaling. And then I read and I journal and check out this journal that Mike got me for Christmas. Woohoo! Journal your amazing life. Okay, sorry. So I, I just go in and let the pen write. And so many times what I've journaled about, it's almost like the pen has a life of its own. I'm writing stuff that I never... Um, I never was intentionally writing. It was just what was kind of flowing through my mindset and everything I just read and the work that I just did. So the acronym is SAVERS, you guys, or GAVERS, if you're going to do G for gratitude. Um, That is my miracle morning. And let me tell you, it is a miracle. Like I get up in the morning and I just get juiced up. So here's what I'll say to you. If you're interested in doing this, I have a private Facebook messenger group. It's a small group of people who wanted to be accountability partners with this. And all we do at the end, I can add you to it if you want, is just write done, period. There's no judgment. There's no questions. There might be a little light bulb in there like, oh, the visualization today was juicy or the pen was flowing like nobody's business. And we just support each other on starting our miracle morning to start our day. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I know I went a little long, but if you're watching this, um, I'd love to hear your comments. Definitely reach out to me if you want a little bit of help or any detail on any of these. Um, I'd love to just support you. So um, anyway, have a great day. Have a miracle day. I'm going to read. I'm going to write and I'm heading to the gym. I'll talk to you guys soon.